Alright, gonna review my Ibanez Iron Label 7 string guitar. Um, it's the one with the tremolo. Uh, made some modifications along the way, changed the pickups out. They came with EMGs. Never really been a fan of EMGs, so I changed out the pickups for something different. Um, the EMGs it came with actually sounded really good. I kind of almost wish maybe I had left them in there. I decided to change it out for a uh, DiMarzio Crunch Lab 7 in the bridge and then a DiMarzio Liquifier 7 in the neck. Um, those were John Petrucci's signature series pickups that were out at the time. Um, I love the Liquifier 7 paired with this guitar. Not totally sold on the Crunch Lab, if I'm honest. Um, I feel like maybe the EQ on it is a little harsh um, for the tone woods on this guitar. Um, this guitar has a basswood body and a Ibanez Nitro Wizard 7 neck. I love the neck prof profile on this guitar. It's really, really thin, like actually pretty recklessly thin. Um, and also, just as a heads up, with these guitars, they don't have a reinforcement on the back of the neck, so if this guitar falls, it's almost guaranteed to break the neck. Um, other guitars, they add like a little re uh, reinforcing uh, section on, on the back of the neck. Um, so if you do go with one of these, be extra careful it doesn't fall over or the neck will almost 100% crack. Okay, the other modifications that I made was I broke a tuner along the way. Uh, it got dropped, and the neck didn't break somehow. It was a miracle. Um, and I picked up some used black tuners off eBay and then ended up putting them every other. Um, I don't know, just kind of goofy. I also put down a... Um, it's actually a sticker. Uh, it's uh, It's been on there for two years, and it still looks pretty good. It still looks pretty convincing. Um, like a Steve Vai uh, look-alike. Uh, it's it's a uh, nylon, not nylon, uh, vinyl uh, sticker that I got off of eBay. And it looks really convincing, e even up close. Um, and uh, I'm kind of... I mean, it came with a blank fingerboard normally, and I need dots or something else there besides just the dots along the top of the neck. So, um... I decided since it was a cheaper guitar to kind of experiment. Now, the fretwork on it, if I'm honest, I was a little disappointed with when I first got it, and the setup was pretty bad, actually. Um, now, that could have just been my particular guitar. I got it off uh, just some retailer off eBay. Um, you might have a better experience if you buy it elsewhere. I'd highly recommend IbanezRules.com. Uh, Rich Harris does an incredible job. Um, if you bought it through him, you'd be sure you know you'd, the guitar would play incredible. Um, other features, a five-way switch and a kill switch, which is kind of cool, and I really like that. I'm actually going to have a kill switch installed on all my guitars after having this, doing the metal thing. Having a kill switch is really nice, and even in my cover band that I play with, it's just great to know that I've got a switch, I don't have to worry about the volume knob getting bumped, I can just kill the guitar. We do a lot of instrument changes uh, in my cover band, high five, swan dive, so I need to change quickly, and, and, and that is definitely really nice as well. Um, although, admittedly, probably most of you guys wouldn't be buying this guitar to like play Tom Petty, but believe it or not, that's what I do every weekend on it. Um, overall, I'd have to say I really like the guitar for the money, especially with a good setup. It plays pretty good. It's you know, an intermediate level instrument, so you know what you're kind of getting. That being said, the bridge hardware is pretty reliable and pretty pretty stable. Um, usually, you know, when I get it in tune, when I change the strings after they're stretched out, I really don't have to tune it majorly. I almost never have to unbolt um, just a little fine tuning here before a show or something like that. So that's the review of uh, Ibanez Iron Label. I think they've actually discontinued this color combination, which I think is a shame. I really like the way this guitar looks. The the black with just the uh, the white accents I think looks really classy. It's almost like a tuxedo for a guitar. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed the review. Please hit like if you did and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to check out all of our other content, our lessons, music videos, and other things we have going on with our uh, Minor Airs original music. Bye.